Hey Crusaders, I'm AJ. And I'm Julius. And today we're going to be talking about who we want Dwayne The Rock Johnson to be in a DC movie. Because he's been talking about how, you know, he's a, well, he's been confirmed that he's right. going to be a DC Took a character. picture with the CEO. Yeah. So it's, it's going to happen. And let's talk about who we want to see him be. Julius, who yeah, do you want to see him so be? Yeah, so he did um, clarify on Twitter, gave Vic some very um, vague hints. He's yeah. like, you know, has to be strong, can't be on a movie before you know, as strong as Superman. So to me, what that does is it knocks out Cyborg. Cyborg is not nearly as strong as Superman. Yeah. Um, and there was rumors they were looking for a young uh, African-American actor for Batman versus Superman. M- you know, really? Maybe Cyborg. Okay. Um, and then uh, he said, you know, someone's like Green, or John Stewart, Green Lantern. He's like, Green Lantern's already been done. Um, but didn't before he say, you know, John Stewart could yeah, kick Superman's ass? Yeah, so that's ass? that's another thing. Is like that, you know, you always have that. Just okay. you know, so that's just that's on the table. Right. But he's, okay, he said Green Lantern. Martian Manhunter for me. That I mean, in this dark and serious, you know. Yeah. world where it's like you know but they already have aliens but they have aliens so it wouldn't be out of place right they'd have to do some a bunch of modernization for him what they'd do you have mean? to revamp him like you can't have that big cape looking thing and he doesn't have up. to have a big cape he can have like, a they'd have to make him look not realistic like but believable like i could believe that a guy coming out from mars looks like this I think the way that they had him portrayed in the Young Justice cartoon. I didn't looked, see that. Okay, well, Young Justice was a phenomenal cartoon uh, that got canceled, but it was it, the yeah. his portrayal. The jo- John Stewart, not John Stewart, excuse me. Um, uh, oh, I, I yeah. the Martian Manhunter. He was he looked amazing in Young Justice, yeah. and so I feel like if they adapted that into the. My other one, I don't know much about this character. Okay. But, and he may be, maybe not as popular. He says, um, this character also must be popular, right? The, he, the public must know him, but not um, but not made in a movie. Hmm. And I don't know if this guy qualifies as popular, but how about Lobo? Oh, okay. Because he, he's like more, you could turn him more of like a dark character where you know because you have to have a character that you know the number one thing Dwayne the Rock Johnson has is it's not his acting ability it's not like his stunning good looks it's It's his his... charisma yeah it's charisma like to be an action star you need charisma that's why Keanu Reeves never took off as an action star because he's like a stone cold stone Mm -hmm. yeah gotcha but you know okay yeah you need charisma and you can't do that with like Martian Manhunter Lobo is more of like out there. He's like edgy, you know. I don't know how he'd fit in. Like it doesn't fit in with like the tone. But I'm just like thinking of a different character he could play. I think that'd be, I think that'd be weird. It would, yeah, it would be weird. I mean, I didn't, I don't even, I didn't even know who he was until Injustice came out, and I'm like, yeah. this guy's kind of. I mean, Lobo was created to be basically a parody of Wolverine. Like, yeah. he was supposed to be an over-the-top Wolverine, just like Deadpool was an over-the-top uh, uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Yeah, and so I don't know. Like that, that I, I was not, I did not know you were going to say that. That was. Huh. It has to. It, and they say that he's looking for a script, right? They're still writing a script, so that leads me to believe, you know, he's probably going to be in the Justice League movie they're doing, mm-hmm. but also got to be, you know, doing. A solo movie, but Lobo standalone movie. I don't think that's what they're gonna do. Like you know, I just feel like he'd be so out of place. Yeah, it would be. Like with standing with you know Batman Batman and Superman Superman. and Wonder Woman, and then Lobo. (laughs) Yeah, they can't. Like it would be tough to put him in the Justice League. You can't have him in the Justice League, basically. No, and so I don't know what they would do because when I think of you know we got the the Trinity, those three. And then when I think of, oh, the fourth person in the Justice League, it's a tie between Green Lantern or Flash. Flash. And so... He can't play Flash. He can't play Flash. He can't... Uh, but, I mean, the Zack Snyder has done some crazy choices before. He has. Well, most of his choices now kind of feel a little crazy. Yeah. Eisenberg, Affleck. I mean, they, they, they definitely feel like... I mean, even Gal Gadot. They just feel, uh, yeah. you know, kind of out of place. And Perry and, White, you know, he's, he's supposed to be white. You mean black. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would... Another reason why I don't think they'd use him is they're doing the TV show. Um, and they still, Goyer said in an interview that they wanna, they would Warner Brothers would love to have TV and cinematic universe combined. He did. So well, if which which TV? I mean, are we talking like the, the Flash TV okay, show? Okay, I was gonna say the CW. Yeah. Because yeah, because I mean, I would 
Yeah, yeah, or I didn't know if you meant like Fox's yeah, Gotham, Gotham. Yeah. and I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah. okay, that'd be interesting. But what about you? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm all like yeah. over the place right now. I mean, I've said this before in other videos, Martian Manhunter. And I don't even have like someone else that I would go, well, maybe. No, I want to see him as Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter is strong and he's, he's big, all right? His super strength is not equivalent to Superman's. But it's just a few notches below. He's super strong. He can turn invisible. Yeah. His only weakness is fire. And he's a very um, strong character emotionally. His entire race is basically wiped out. He's very similar to Superman in right. that way. Right, yeah. But except he was there when it happened, unlike Superman who was sent yeah. away when his planet was destroyed. So I feel like that would be really very interesting. Very deep emotional type of they, Yeah, they, the two of them would be able to connect because it's like, Oh, I'm the last of my kind. You're the last of your kind. And but they... for that reason, I think it's unlikely. They'd be kind of treading over similar territory that's already been done. I wouldn't say they're treading over. I mean, they, yes, it's they are yeah. treading, but it wouldn't. They wouldn't drown. It would be like, I mean, Superman and Batman. They would be able to clash, but he would be really be yeah. able to relate because they're both aliens. They they would both be feared, mm-hmm. and John John would probably be feared more. And so I feel like Martian Manhunter would just be cool, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's just huge, and I think he could do it. He's done kind and like really gentle. Maybe not the best example, but I was going to see or going to say the game plan that Disney movie where he's the football player and he does ballet or whatever for his daughter. He could do yeah. that that kind and caring and kind of quieter. I mean, he could. But um, that's it goes against what that's his strength is charisma. I would say his his strength, while I mean charisma is awesome. It's his strength is his strength. It's his body. Yeah. I mean, we can get other people who are you know just as charismatic. Well, I'd say it's easier to have someone who looks big, right? And it's yeah. like, it's charisma is like a, a trait that he's like acquired over like years of acting. I would yeah, I would agree. But right. also look at um, Chris Evans and Captain America. I mean, he was big, and they made him look so tiny. Mm. They can make someone who's not as big look big. Mm -hmm. So I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson being um, Martian Manhunter, like Martian Manhunter always has his shirt off. So I think that that would just, it would work. I think it would work. That's that's who I would say. Okay, so you're Martian Manhunter. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say Lobo. I'm going to say, I want it to be John Stewart or Cyborg. Either one of those, I perfectly fine with okay. cyborg they've been pushing in the media a lot more with they, ha- they have been and for me like i'm not completely caught up in new 52's justice mm-hmm. league i read the first arc and that's it but for me cyborg is not a justice league member mm-hmm. and i'm fine if they would want to put him in the movie i'd be like sweet i love cyborg i love him from teen titans but he's for me he's not on the justice yeah. league. i just see they've been putting him lots of comics and like they've been Putting them up in lots of these games and like Injustice. Yeah, it's just, yeah, Injustice. I'm going to put it out there. But that's all we have for you today. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment in the uh, comment section below uh, for whatever you want to see us discuss next. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, stay ace.